Chazon chapter 19 And after this I heard a loud voice of a great crowd in the heaven saying, Hallelujah, deliverance and esteem and respect and power to Yahweh our Elohim, because true and righteous are his judgments, because he has judged the great whore who corrupted the earth with her whoring, and he has avenged on her the blood of his servants shed by her. And a second time they said, Hallelujah, and her smoke rises up for ever and ever. And the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped Elohim who sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Hallelujah. And a voice came from the throne, saying, Praise our Elohim, all you his servants, and those who fear him, both small and great. And I heard as the voice of a great crowd, as the sound of many waters, and as the sound of mighty thunders, saying, Hallelujah, for Yahweh El Shaddai reigns. Let us be glad and rejoice and give him praise, for the marriage of the Lamb has come and his wife prepared herself. And to her it was given to be dressed in fine linen, clean and bright, for the fine linen is the righteousnesses of the set-apart ones. And he said to me, Write, Blessed are those who have been called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are the true words of Elohim. And I fell at his feet to worship him. But he said to me, See, do not do it. I am your fellow servant, and of your brothers who possess the witness of Yahashua. Worship Elohim, for the witness of Yahashua is the spirit of prophecy. And I saw the heaven opened, and there was a white horse, and he who sat on him was called, Trustworthy and True, and in righteousness he judges and fights, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, having a name that had been written, which no one had perceived except himself, and having been dressed in a robe, dipped in blood, and his name is called, The Word of Yahweh. And the armies in the heaven, dressed in fine linen, white and clean, followed him on white horses, and out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall shepherd them with a rod of iron, and he treads the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of El Shaddai, and on his robe and on his thigh he has a name written, Sovereign of Sovereigns and Master of Masters. And I saw one messenger standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the birds that fly in mid-heaven, Come and gather together for the supper of the great Elohim, to eat the flesh of sovereigns, and the flesh of commanders, and the flesh of strong ones, and the flesh of horses, and of those who sit on them, and the flesh of all people, free and slave, both small and great. And I saw the beast and the sovereigns of the earth, and their armies, gathered together to fight him who sat on the horse and his army. And the beast was seized, and with him the false prophet, who worked signs in his presence, by which he led astray those who received the mark of the beast, and those who worshipped his image. The two were thrown alive into the lake of fire burning with sulphur, and the rest were killed with the sword which came from the mouth of him who sat on the horse, and all the birds were filled with their flesh.